Hello everyone, my name is Cywolf, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. There is one challenge left for us to complete in this game before we move on to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. That challenge being Aggressive Nightmare. Now, we have cheats unlocked. I already have Aggressive Nightmare enabled. I just hit my elbow on my chair. We're going to be doing Nightmare Mode with Aggressive on. Now, the current idea for how I'm going to beat this is I'm going to do the same strat we did for Nightmare where I'm going to juggle him between 9 and 10 and then close the vents accordingly. Now, I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but leave a like on the video for good luck, and if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. Let's hop straight into this. I think this is going to take us a lot of attempts. We beat Nightmare Mode first try. I have a feeling this is going to be, like, way worse. Okay, he's in the cam 10 vent. I know he is. Now he just left. <laughs> I have questions. Hi. Hello. This was a run. Second attempt, 4 a.m. I'll take it. Maybe we can stretch it out to 5? We, we did, we stretched it out to 5. Hi there. We have an entire hour left to go. Maybe... I was just about to say, maybe we can stretch this out. He's in. He's in. He, he, he got in, he got in. 4 a.m. though. I literally do not know where he is. Oh, he's- oh, we're dead, never mind. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, well, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we were dead. Alright.
Oh my gosh, okay, that's aggressive nightmare done. That took a... I did many attempts yesterday, uh, but I went to sleep and I was going to attempt it the next day. And I, I beat it very fast today. I only died, like this was like my second attempt today. Like yesterday there were several failed attempts that you're probably going to see before this winning run here. I'm probably going to edit them together, you know, and show you like my fail reel. But that, on, on the second day at least, that took faster than I thought it would, okay. Definitely not as hard as FNAF 2. Uh, it has a little more luck involved from, like, where you're luring Springtrap around. It has a little more luck because you kind of have to hope he goes where you want him to at any given moment when you need to go reboot things. Uh, but once you get a feel for it, you can kind of start to predict where he is even when your camera is failed. Because you'll know based on the audio cues. Like, I was keeping him in cam 6. If he makes a movement and I don't hear the danger, that means he went to 7. If he makes a movement and then I do hear the danger, that means he went to 5. Uh, ideally, he should go to 7 and then I just lure him back to 6 and I keep the 7 vent shut. But depending on where he moves, I can then just go and close the vent. And I, I don't need the cameras if I keep him in that, like, kind of loop there. So yeah, that wasn't very hard at all, but I can officially say I have 100%ed FNAF 3 now. And it is now time to move on to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. If you enjoyed that, maybe consider giving this video a like. That was pretty hard. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I'll see you later. Have a good one.